Hello amazing people, it's Jovi Q again. I make videos from Abba, Nigeria. And today I'll be showing us how to make a perfect basmati rice that does not stick. So for the purpose of this video, I'll be needing two cups of basmati rice. It depends on the product you want to use. They all work the same way. Just follow the video, follow the tutorial and you'll be able to get your, your rice done properly. So you will need water to wash your rice but you need to wash your rice thoroughly so as to remove the excess starch that is coated on the rice. So keep washing and scrubbing. Some people will wash like more than once, but provided you scrub it very well the first time, you have what you're looking for. So after scrubbing and washing, we'll have to strain the rice like so. It depends on what you want to do. You can pour it all into the sieve, but this is just fine for me. After straining, you put it back into the bowl and put some water into it. For each cup of basmati rice, I ensure I put a cup and a half full of water to soak it for 30 minutes to one hour, depending on how long you can wait. So after soaking, this is what I got after straining it for the second time after soaking. At this point your rice is white and it has to go to the fire. So you have to put enough water to cover the rice and the water should be at least one inch higher than the level of the rice. So at this point we'll be putting our salt. So we'll be needing two teaspoons of salt. It depends on what you want. You can just put your salt to taste and we'll be needing two teaspoons of oil, vegetable oil. If you have olive oil, you can go ahead and use that. So when you're done putting these two ingredients, you have to cover your pot and leave it to boil. Now that our water is totally boiled, we have to gently pour the basmati rice into the boiling water. You don't want to get yourself burnt, so you have to do that gently and you don't want the basmati rice to spill all over your stove. So take it gently until you're done with that. So at this point, with your spatula, you have to stir properly. You don't necessarily have to use this kind of spatula. If you have a wooden spatula, you can go ahead and use it. This is a non-stick pan, so I don't advise you to use your spoon. Cover it for like three minutes to boil, and then we'll take it to the next step. Here, it has boiled, and we have to keep stirring for the next seven minutes. It takes 10 minutes to get your basmati rice ready. So at this point, we are beginning to see some changes. It's turning white and getting soft. Yeah, I hope you can see that. We're yet to complete our 10 minutes, so we will keep stirring until it's 10 minutes. So here we are, we are ready, and we have to strain the basmati rice. Our rice is ready to eat, and as you can see, it is not sticky. It is non-sticky at this point it's soft and you can serve your food you can see it just as it is so I have to pick it here so you can see clearly one 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 very very separate from each other so if you want an amazing basmati rice this is how you go about it but we are not done we still have to take it back into the pot so it can simmer for about 10 minutes more it depends on how long you want to wait, but 10 minutes is ideal for me. So after putting this into the pot, we cover it and place it back on the stove where it came from. Mind you, there is no fire on the stove and it is still hot. So you leave it there for another 10 minutes. I just said keep it on the stove to simmer, auntie, uncle, please do not go and burn your basmati rice and say it turned black, please, that's not what I said. So at this point we are ready, it's 10 minutes already and the basmati rice has simmered. We are ready to serve, as you can see, even at that it is still separate from each other. 
one 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 that's the only thing i can say about it because it's just looking like number one so it's so separate and it can fit for every elegant dish that you need it for be it at home jollof rice fried rice chinese rice uh rice with uh, chicken chicken sauce <laughs> rice with spicy chicken sauce however it is you can serve your perfect basmati rice i hope you like this video like share subscribe if you're yet to be a member of this family and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye